Hey guys, Natalia Schneimler here. I help boy moms have a better relationship with their sons and themselves by teaching them the tools how to manage their mind so that when anything comes up in life, they know exactly how to take care of themselves and their kids. Hey guys, how's it going? My voice is still raspy, but it's only because I'm recording this right after the last one. Haha. <laughs> so I want to send you a very simple message today about wanting, defining what you want. And I want you to be more specific in defining what it is you want, which is, I, I, I believe it's a job on its own to actually figure out what you want. First of all, figure out what you want and then make it more specific. Here's why. I will tell you what happened. A few weeks ago, I think my kids were still in school and I was just going through my daily routine, my podcast, kids, sports, etc. And I found myself feeling bored. And I was telling my friend, my girlfriend, my mom, I just said, ah, I just don't want to be bored anymore. And sure enough, life cooked me up something that made me not bored. And it was my here. Here's what happened. First day, my son uh, was my oldest playing with uh, his friend and he got a Nerf gun bullet shot at his eye, like almost close to his eye, like a few inches away from his eye. So that happened one night. The next day he woke up, his eye couldn't, he couldn't open his eye. So I had to take him to an emergency to check out his eye to the doctor. And they had had to get him antibiotics for his eye. Thankfully, the eye has not been damaged. Everything's good. He just needed to kind of let it rest and put some drops in it. The next day after that, my other son, I was picking him up from a mountain biking camp and at the very last run of his day, he broke both of his arms. So I had to go to the nurse's office to find his arm bent to like a noodle. And he's filthy and in shock. And so I had to kind of run, run him over to the emergency room. And he was in a lot of pain. And they put a huge cast on one arm, put a splint on the other arm. And that was my other thing. The next, that was a big shock because we had all these holidays for the summer planned where they involve a lot of pool time and lake time. And he can't do either with his cast, which is a bummer. So that was a shock. And also seeing him in pain was terrible. He's feeling a lot better now. So that was one. The next day, I discovered some lice eggs in one of their hair. And then I checked the other one. So both two of them had lice, like very minimal. I didn't even see any bugs, but lice eggs. So now we're treating for that. And this is, this is what I realized. I was laughing and telling my friend, my, my, my friend called me and I was telling her all this. And she goes, well, you wanted to be not bored. So <laughs> you got what you wanted. And I was laughing too, but it's so true. We always get what we want. Except if we're not specific, we get not bored in a different way, right? We just get whatever life throws at us. So yeah, I'm not bored, but I didn't really specifically sign up for this. So this is why now I was specified I want to be bored, not bored. I want to be excited and thriving and doing well and doing interesting things. I don't want to be dealing with emergencies, right? So that's my message to you. Be more specific with what you want. Actually, and it's not just I made this up. I actually learned that from Louise Hay. She uh, made an example. Oh, no, not Louise Hay. Sorry. This was uh, Esther Hicks uh, with Abraham. The example was that he, um, the person asked for a car, a shiny car and this brand and this year and that make and all these bells and whistles. And then when they got the car, the only thing they forgot to specify is that the car would be running. And they got the car and like the next day it broke and it was this beautiful car except it wasn't running. So this is just, it's funny and yet it's so true that we need to be a lot more specific, right? We need to specify, don't like, and, and 
these life experiences help us fine tune the specifics. Like now I've gotten not bored, but I now I know what kind of not bored I want. I want a different not bored. And the other thing that happened was we went water skiing on our vacation and I tried to drop a ski and ski on one ski. And I fell, fell twice, which was fine. But the thing that I, when I was balancing on one leg, then my right after my back was not happy. It was not strong enough or my core was not strong enough that it was in crucial pain. Like my muscles on one side of the back like seized up that I was not able to ski at all after that. And now I have to go to Cairo and get it fixed. So it was just a one thing after another, all these things happening that made me not bored, yet not, not the kind of bored, not bored I didn't want to be. So be specific in what you want and use these different experiences to help you find that next characteristic of what you want. It is very important because we create our own reality with what we want, with our desires, with our thoughts. So if we don't take care of that, then we leave it up to the world, to the universe to answer what we want. It gives us what we want. And then we have a poor guy with two broken arms, lice, and a, and a shot eye. I mean, it's, I'm not saying this might have still all happened, but I do believe I create my reality with my desires. And I think we need to be, you, you know, use that and be more specific. So that's what I have for you. Be more specific with what you want, how you want to feel. This is, this is the, very important how do you want to feel when you have that thing how do you want to feel so not just bored but not bored and uh, intrigued not bored and interested not bored and learning not bored and thriving not bored and creating right you see what i mean more detail to it all right come chat with me if you need any help with any of the relationships especially with yourself and I'm going to be there for you. Uh, go to my website, www.coachingnatalia.com. Sign up for a mini session. I'll see you in Zoom. Love you. Bye.